Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation. You want to know how I feel about this movie? Let me just start off by saying that this movie was fucking terrible. Probably the worst, no, not probably, what the hell am I talking about? This is the worst movie of the entire franchise by fucking far. Everything in this movie was so rushed, starting from the beginning all the way up to the end. Everything was rushed, but it felt so slow at the same time. It was like the worst mix ever fucking possible. All of the fucking characters in this movie sucked ass. The actors were terrible. The only decent one was maybe Matthew McConaughey, but other, de he was decent. Decent, okay? That's not that's it's not a fucking that's not a reward, bro, buddy. And the main chick in the movie, fucking I don't even remember her name. And the main chick in the movie, she's so stupid. I was just hoping she would die the whole time. Like the part when he she was getting chased through the field by Matthew McConaughey's uh, crazy ass character. I was hoping she would get ran over, and she had so many chances to get out. She had so many chances to escape, and she never took a single fucking one of them. Let's talk about Leatherface here for a minute, okay? This was by far the worst Leatherface ever, okay? Ever. He sucked. He was a pussy, and like a complete pussy. And he was like some transvestite, had the lipstick and shit on. It was disturbing as hell to... You know, first off, not to mention this motherfucker, his his screaming, oh my god, it was so loud and annoying. I just, it made me want to kill myself. And I just, I don't understand that main chick again. Like, like, look, why was she the main character? Why did she live out of anybody? She was the biggest retard out of everyone in the movie. This whole entire movie was very boring. There was nothing entertaining about any of it whatsoever. It was all completely boring and stupid. All of it. Unlike unlike the original uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That one was a classic. But th this one is just complete shit. Like, I don't know how they fucked up. Because this, was, this actually had the same writer as the original. And he was also the director of this film. So how the fuck... How... What happened? You know what? You want to know the best part about this main menu right here? It says talent right there. Then you got that one lady who was, uh... And then you got that one lady, the Matthew McConaughey's fucking slutty girlfriend, bitch, wife, whatever. She was just freaking weird, okay? Why the hell? Why in the hell would she open up her trunk with Jenny in the fucking trunk of her car in front of freaking a pizza place in the drive through with cops right behind her and, ki like... Kids from like a baseball game or whatever were walking right past her. She's just sitting there. Well, if I poke a hole in there for you, will you shut up and quit kicking? Like, I think this movie was about an hour and 45 minutes long, hour and a half, something like that. And the whole time, I was just waiting for it to end. Like, that should not happen. That's not how it's supposed to be. And that's how I felt throughout this entire movie. Just sitting there, waiting for the end. And then when we got to the end, it was fucking stupid. No, the ending was the best part, now that I think about it, because what happened at the end? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the credits rolled. That was the best part. But no, she just, like, jumps into the RV with the old people. And you got Leatherface just dancing all around with his freaking chainsaw swinging around, screaming like a freaking girl. Like, I, I can't even... I can't even explain how big of a pussy he was in this movie. How many opportunities he had to kill uh, all the freaking teenagers, and he didn't? Like, okay... Like, the part where that the one chick is just sitting down, Heather, was just sitting down in the on the freaking swing, and she stands up and he starts screaming like a little girl. Like, what the fuck? That's not how he's supposed to be. And Jenny's sitting at the table and just tells him straight up just to sit down, and he listens because he's such a baby. I, I don't know. I don't know what else to fucking say about this movie, honestly. Stupid. Fucking God, I hope you die of cancer. Leatherface... Crosses Divine with Hannibal Lecter. Yeah, that's right, fucking Matthew McConaughey looking ass. What the fuck? Like, he was weird as shit. Like, he was just straight up crazy. Like, like for real crazy. Like, he reminded me of my brother, okay? That's, <laughs> that's fucking me. 
Like, seriously, like, that that's the quote that you give the movie? It's not even a positive quote. It's just, Leatherface crosses the vine with Hannibal Lecter. Yeah, you're saying it's fucking stupid is what you're saying. Because that original Hannibal Lecter, it's just crazy shit. Like, you're just saying that this movie's fucking crazy because of how stupid it is. And you can sit there and say, oh yeah, Seth, well, you're just nitpicking at this movie. Yeah, well, it's not nitpicking when it's a fucking fact that this movie is the biggest piece of shit Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie ever to be made. And not to mention, the budget for this was like 600000 and didn't even make like a fourth of that back. So that just proves it right there. Nobody wanted this stupid movie. Hey, and, and do you know who the biggest idiot is out of anyone out there ever? Me! Because I fucking bought this stupid piece of shit. Well, that's the review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you hated this movie. If you didn't hate this movie, then start hating it. And if you did hate it, make sure to leave a like on this video and stay subscribed to my channel for more slapstick horror because it's coming very often from now on and you know it is. You know it is. It's not a good movie. It's not good. Oh, oh fuck.